The empath is the supplier. So, the narcissist, all they care about is the supply. They do not care about the supplier. So, there's a book called um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I think it's written by Covey or something. C-O-V-E-Y, could be wrong. But um, in there, there's a story about the the golden, the goose, the golden goose who lays the golden eggs or the goose that lays the golden eggs. Mm. And so there's principles in there that talk about production is equal to production capability. Uh, P equals PC and PC equals P. Um, so, you know, production is equal to production capability and production capability is also equal to production. <clears throat> so, the, the story about the golden goose or the golden egg, the goose that lays the golden egg, um, is that the the goose has to have adequate nourishment and adequate sleep in order to produce these golden eggs and they can the goose can only produce so many well so i think the story goes something to the effect that uh somebody wanted the golden goose um somebody who had a lot of money wanted the golden goose and we'll liken this unto the narcissist in this scenario and the goose will liken it to the empath and so the rich person buys the um golden goose or the goose that lays the golden eggs and they want more golden eggs produced by the goose and so they deprive the goose of sleep, adequate sleep, and adequate nourishment, and it, they try to force the goose to per, mass produce golden eggs. And of course, as the story goes, the goose ends up dying, you know, so. <laughs> and so that's what the empath is in the narcissistic relationship. The empath is the supplier. And the narcissist doesn't care one way or the other about the supplier. All they want is the golden egg. They want the empath to produce for them. You're an object to the narcissist. The narcissist cares nothing about your trials or your difficulties. They can they have variable to low empathy, so they don't care what you're going through because all they care about is what's in it for them. And every relationship, family members, their children, their parents, uh, their spouse, their spouse's parents, their brothers, their sisters, it does not matter. Everybody is an object to them. It's not about um, what they can bring to the relationship. It's about what the relationship can bring to them. And I can tell you after being married to two narcissistic wives and uh, one wife that's on uh, social security disability and acts like she is a Republican conservative right wing, <laughs> but she collects a social security disability check. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> you know, and that's how uh, pretentious they can be. They can uh, act however you need them to act and be whatever they want you to be. Uh, my ex-narc wife, one of them, her favorite song that I wrote 
is called She's a Sociopath. I can't make this stuff up, you know? Mm. So you, you think that was, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, it's a good song, I must admit. <clears throat> I wrote it. It's all me. Um, but it's basically a um, song about the uh, clinical definition of a sociopath. Uh, so I'll leave a link to the song in the description. But um, so the empath is the supplier to the narcissist. And it's not, it's everything. It's emotional supply. It's attention. They constantly need validation and admiration. And they want you to produce like the goose who lays the golden eggs. And not only do they want four a day, the next day they want five a day. And the next day they want six a day. And the next day they want seven a day until it's, uh, until it kills the goose. I mean, that's ultimately what they are trying to do in the relationship, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, Emotionally, they are trying to kill the empath. That is their objective. And if they can accomplish that, if they can get the empath to self-implode, <laughs> then it further escalates their belief and their grandiosity and that they are uh, a god, so to speak, that they have that capability of harming another human being uh, to that degree. And of course, uh, you know, if they do succeed, and a lot of narcissists do succeed in getting their uh, victim to commit suicide, um, there is no law that's, uh, that they're going to, you know, and there's people advocating now for uh, laws against narcissistic abuse. But as of now, to my knowledge, there aren't any laws uh, against narcissistic abuse. So if the person uh, does commit suicide, then uh, the narcissist will not be charged with the crime because uh, they were just the the handler of the goose. <laughs> <laughs> the, go the goose killed themselves <laughs> despite all the pressure that was being put on by the narcissist the empath is still the one that gets blamed for killing themselves so keep that in mind you know when you're dealing with these narcissists and that you know i Somebody sent me a meme a long time ago. You should value anyone who supports you without anything to gain from it. And that is a, a litmus test to relationships and becoming narcissistic resistant when it comes to your work relationships or family relationships or romantic relationships be sure and look before you get involved if these people are supporting you without anything to gain from it. So if you're in a lopsided narcissistic relationship, I guarantee you that the narcissist is getting way more out of the relationship than you are, especially when it comes to uh, vacations or monetary or materially, uh, you're giving the the empath gives to a fault, and uh, the narcissist takes without any consideration to the health or um, mental health or emotional health of the empath. Um, so, the empath is the supplier. The narcissist is only interested in the empath for what they can supply them with. And when they have depleted the empath of all supply or in their mind, adequate supply, uh, they move on to their next uh, victim. 
and um, nobody's off limits. Kids, parents, uh, siblings, it doesn't matter. They're going to take what they take. And, um, you know, being, I can't tell you how many times uh, my ex narc wife, <laughs> she acted like a Republican conservative right winger. And I can't tell you how many times she would talk about President Biden and him letting all these Mexicans in the border and that it was her tax dollars that were paying for these Mexicans. <laughs> oh, shit. You can't make this stuff up. And so I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? It's not even, you don't even pay taxes. But you're, you're talking about your tax dollars. or It makes no sense. Anyway, just keep that in mind. The empath is the supplier and the narcissist, they only care about the supply that the supplier can offer them. They don't care about the supplier in any degree, form, or fashion. All right, hope this helps. If you like the video, um, be sure and uh, share it with people that you think uh, it might help. Uh, like and subscribe um, and comment below if you agree or you disagree with anything that I've said. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, you watching, sharing this video, liking it, disliking it, commenting, either pro or con, does help get this message out to other people and other uh, empaths who are still suffering or that might be still stuck in a narcissistic abusive relationship. So I appreciate you watching and happy narc slaying.